Alright guys, so I think there's been enough talk about the price reduction of all of Tesla's last week. People are going crazy about the pricing lately and I think it's better to talk about what's coming up and what you guys are really missing out if you do decide to pick up your vehicle now versus waiting a little bit longer. So just recently in China, there's been an internal leak of hardware 4. So you guys aren't seeing that on cards that you guys are jumping forward to right now just because they are on sale. You are getting inferior hardware. So just keep that in mind. You still are on hardware 3. So for those of you guys that are feeling bad that you're not jumping in on the price action right now because of all the incentives and the price drop, don't worry too much because you're probably going to get a better car in the coming weeks because Tesla is going to be announcing a hardware 4 and the new radar system that's going into all vehicles being produced shortly. All right, so we're not really sure how this ties into Project Highland. You guys know all the Tesla vehicles that's going on the road right now that have the front and the rear wrapped up. I'm not sure if this is a new version of the Tesla Model 3s or how they're gonna incorporate the new hardware into these vehicles. But as of right now, it really looks like it's gonna be very minor changes. And I think it's just gonna be enough to differentiate between an old product versus a new Model 3. One thing that strikes me at first glance here is if you take a look at the tail light you'll see that they are using an old version of the tail light you know that the model y is being produced right now incorporate the brake light into the daytime running light as well so i'm not sure what's going on here but they are using an old brake light system on the model 3 even though this is supposed to be a brand new version of that vehicle so whatever reason they're wrapping up the rear end i might actually have to do with just the rear bumper and the front bumper and not too much that has to do with the tail light or the front headlight but who knows maybe they are making a major change and just not incorporating it into the vehicles they're test driving right now but anyways if you guys wait a few more months down the line you're definitely going to hear about project highland and what they're doing they're probably going to have better batteries a better casting you know about the structural pack uh, that's going to lead its way into the model 3 and then on to other vehicles as well so just wait a couple more months find out what vehicles and what hardware is going to go into the cars before you decide to pick up one. All right, so back to the internal leak that has been given up by internal China. They are saying that the new hardware are going to look like this. So if you guys take a peek here, it is a very blurry images of the internal memos, but it does show that the cameras have been upgraded to five megapixels. So at the moment it is at 1.2 and it's going to be a substantial leap, giving better resolution overall. And then on top of that, they're even adding in a micro fan. Now we're not exactly sure if that has to do with the condensation removal or that has to do with camera overheating, but it is now integrated inside the module. And that means that the camera is going to get better performance, maybe because five megapixel does output a lot more heat than the 1.2s did. Now, when we're talking about the hardware four, we're talking about the computer inside the processes, everything compared to the hardware three. And this is why Tesla is even removing the additional camera because they are upgrading the resolution. You're going from three, front facing cameras down to two front facing cameras they are wider view hopefully they even have a side angle view because unfortunately we will not be seeing these side front mounted uh, cameras inside the bumpers that all of us were expecting i'm sure that by now tesla has this covered where you do go into the cross traffic and the fish eye or the new cameras that are five megapixel do have a wide view of vision and that means that they'll be able to see the side and oncoming traffic uh, much better than the 1.2s and the fisheye lens that came originally with cars right now. Now as for the other cameras, they've also been added into the catalog as well. However, they've been tagged AP4 but they don't get the five megapixels that the front facing cameras do. And I think this makes sense because they don't want the extra resolution, meaning that it has a lot more data being sent back to the computer. And that means that it takes longer to process every data. It isn't critical for the side cameras really to get a view. They really just wanna see the objects in that view and just make sure that you don't hit it. The only downside to this really is that your sentry mode isn't gonna get the best quality. And then the rear facing camera is not gonna be upgraded from what I can see. So that means that you're still gonna get the water droplets when it does rain. And you're gonna get a bunch of dirt splash back there and it doesn't seem like Tesla is adding in any uh, windshield, a washer or fluid or anything to fix that issue. Now this is why I said about Project Highland, maybe they are developing something on top of just the hardware for upgrades. And this is gonna make Project Highland the one that fixes all the camera issues from the exterior, especially the back viewing camera. All right, so there is one pretty substantial change here that you're gonna see that you do pay enough attention. You're gonna see that the B-pillar camera 
is sort of an oval shape right now and it doesn't have any heating element. Now the times that you do see that there's no melts in that corner versus somewhere else, it's not necessary that the B pillar camera has a heating element to it uh, because it just produces heat naturally when it's plugged in. When any device is running, it does produce a little bit of heat and I guess this is why condensation eventually evaporates or snow eventually melts from that pure bit of heat that comes out of it. But I guess now with all the data that's coming to Tesla, they've seen that it is not enough. So they decided that they are adding a heating element to it. So this is definitely gonna fix a lot of the issues where you drive in the middle of the night with no street lights going and you get a warning message saying that autopilot or FSD beta is no longer available because it is too dark or one of the cameras are blocked. So in terms of hardware 4, that's pretty much all we know so far and we're not even exactly sure if this internal memo from China is legit or not, but we're just gonna take it with a grain of salt and say that it is going to be coming into hardware 4 vehicles in the next couple weeks here, just because it's gonna be announced next week according to them. The only issue I'm really having with all of this is the removal of ultrasonic sensors. As you guys know, newer vehicles do not have this and that means that we were all expecting uh, camera placements to be placed all over the bumpers, at least a couple more for the cross traffic for the front. So you get a proper bird's eye view instead of what Tesla is currently doing with the FSD beta. But it doesn't seem like they are relying on anything like that. With the current setup of cameras, there are blind spots, especially in the front bumpers at the bottom. So with the current camera setup, you're not going to be able to view anything that the ultrasonic sensors are going to be able to, like live moving objects. So let's say a cat goes into that section and Tesla does not see it from the beginning when it's moving into that spot. The next time you get in, it will not be able to detect that object laying right there. So that's going to be a big bummer. Uh, Tesla really has to deal with it somehow. We were originally thinking that they're going to be replacing the front fender cameras to have two cameras, one pointing to the side and one pointing backwards. And this will help with cross traffic as well as uh, cover some of the blind spots area. We were hoping that this could be retrofitted in older vehicles so that it can work with the cross traffic issues that a lot of people were having and then also take over some of the blind spots that Tesla is having like I've mentioned earlier. But I guess they are going to be relying on the occupancy network and there are a lot of down size to that it is not going to be able to work exactly how ultrasonic sensors work regardless of whatever Tesla is planning to do now a lot of you guys are arguing the fact that they've removed this because of just the shortage overall and I actually finally believe you guys I think Tesla is just removing it because they cannot produce or they don't have the parts available just like they did for lumbar support just like they did for the radar and just like they did for the ultrasonic sensors and eventually it's going to come back just like the radar is going to be returning. And then to wrap it up onto the radar, it is going to be announced next week according to FCC filings. This is practically confirmed that it's going to be announced next week because they did release an FCC filing requesting that FCC does not release any data of the new radar. So they don't want any unfair competition as well as people not purchasing their vehicles during the time that the hardware is not available on their cars. Now the time is up and they are ready to announce this. So keep an eye out guys. Uh, definitely lots of exciting things coming up with Tesla and their vehicles. But yeah, all we can do is hope right now that all the parts can be retrofitted into older vehicles, especially for those of you guys that are missing out on the ultrasonic sensors and the rest of the things that you guys are lacking right now that are causing a lot of the features from FSD to not work. Anyways guys, I will be updating you as soon as I hear anything else regarding all of this, but you guys need to make sure to hit the subscribe button, that bell notification, if you guys haven't already done so. Anyways, this is John once again. Peace out.